What's up everyone, I am Seth and today we're gonna do a quick unboxing and review of the New Balance Clogs. Let's go! So from the Adidas Foam Runners to the Salehi Bembury Crocs and even Jordan Brand's own Slip-On Clog Mule, foam shoes have been taking over the sneaker scene and a lot of brands have their own interpretation on the silhouette. And I have here today New Balance's take on the clog silhouette which is basically called just the New Balance clog. So this pair released last July 1st at New Balance Korea stores with a price tag of 89,000 Korean won or roughly around 70 US dollars. New Balance being late to the clog party turned into a huge advantage for them. They learned from the different mistakes and advantages of the other pairs that have come out from other brands. So this pair released together with a black colorway and it's constructed out of an EVA foam which is quite plush but sturdy and stable while on feet. The design of this pair is a bit edgy compared to the more rounded silhouettes like the Adidas Foam Runners and the Salehi Bembury Crocs. But overall, similar to a lot of the clog pairs nowadays, it has a wide silhouette, especially looking at it from the top. And it impacts the sizing of the pair, which We'll talk about later in more detail. Debossed and embossed all around the pair are different New Balance brandings like the classic N logo on the lateral side of the pair and on the heel we have New Balance text printed as well. On the bottom, you'll see a very structured traction pattern, which is quite different from a lot of the clog pairs nowadays. So that's pretty much it in terms of the design of this pair. Now, talking about sizing, I recommend that you go a full size down for this pair because similar to a lot of the clogs nowadays, like the Adidas Foam Runners and the Salehi Bembury Crocs, it fits hella roomy. So I'm a true size 9, slightly on the wider side, and I got this pair in a size 8. And it's still a bit roomy in my opinion. And for the wide footers out there, I'm pretty sure you will love this silhouette because with or without socks, it still fits a bit roomy and that's really how I like it when it comes to my slides or clogs. Now talking about comfort, this pair is still a bit plush since it's made out of EVA foam but in my opinion, it's a bit more stable and firm to the feet compared to other similar silhouettes. All in all, this is a pretty solid pair of clogs. It's a great alternative to the very expensive options from Adidas and even Crocs nowadays. And my only issue with it is, as of the moment, you can only get it in Korea as far as I know. And I haven't seen any other reviews of this pair and hopefully I was able to help you if you're planning to cop this pair. Anyway, what's your take on this pair? Is it a cop or a drop for you guys? And do you think that foam shoes are the future of footwear? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to have a healthy discussion with you guys. And that's pretty much it. Please follow me on my Instagram and Facebook for more sneaker and streetwear content. Again, I am Seth. This has been Seth On Air. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.